Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you and teach you uh, what is the spreadsheet and what is the workbook and how to create uh, a workbook and inside the workbook uh, you can create worksheet. Uh, of you can say that by using the ASP.NET Core C Sharp application and you can say that C Sharp create uh, Excel file, Microsoft Excel file. So this is the simplest step you can create a Excel file and also uh, save this file into your current directory. Like uh, here we have the current directory is payroll.web and just I want to save this file at here by using the name that is getting started.xlsx. The first line of the code that is using where workbook equals to new Excel workbook. By using the Excel workbook uh, object, that object is actually exist in closed xml.excel file dot excel names uh, namespace and you can just uh, right click on it uh, and just download that package uh, that is the closed xml and that package name is closed xml you can see in the dependencies and you can see that that is a package and the package is closed xml the version is 0 0.97.0 okay so uh, create a worksheet by using that uh, excel workbook Okay, so uh, just create a workbook first of all by using uh, Excel workbook and after that inside the workbook you have to add a new worksheet and lots of worksheet you have to add the single workbook. So workbook.worksheet.add the single worksheet that name is seat1. Okay, so the reference is WS. Just I want to add uh, WS.cell that is value of A1. I mean to say that, that that is the default column actually exists in the MS Excel that is A1 and the value of the A1 is full name. So workbook.save as getting started dot xls and return view. So uh, just simple that uh, application uh, I mean to say that payroll.wav will be executed uh, that is the similar time and you can see that uh, without any interrupt your uh, your Excel file will be generated and you can see wait for some times when your application run successfully on the browser your Excel file will be generated and saved into the current directory and you can see that and here your Excel file is there like that getting started dot Excel as dot xls x and with the a1 column hold the first uh, cell that is the full name wait for some times to open the excel sheet and here we have a1 that is full name if you assign a2 a is the column name a1 is the reference of the cell value a1 b1 c1 that is the cell value and similarly you have to assign some values using a for loop by using a2 a3 a4 looking like that okay so this is the first uh, example of uh, closed xml so in the next section you can see uh, that uh, that is the code uh, like that here we have a code workbook and uh, so the name is the excel workbook and workbook dot add worksheet that is the first worksheet as usual you can see in the previous in the just uh, few seconds ago and you can say uh, there is a way to define the value of the first column okay so the first cell I mean to say that a1 dot value that is the full name so a1 is the one is the row and a is the column name so a1 is the value that is full name also you can define that is the third row I mean to say that WS worksheet dot cell third row and the second column so the value is you can say that b3 dot value is uh, ASP dot net core so that is the row value that is the row number and that is the column number so here we have the b3 b I mean to say that number 2 and the 3 is the row so uh, b3 is the name that is asp.netcore.mvc 
also you have to set uh, the cell value uh, uh, w3 uh, ws dot cell uh, of a6 also you can define the string value in the a6 that is a is the column name and 6 is the row number so the set value is youtube channel dot set active that is mean you can visible and ws dot column dot 2 i mean to say that that is 3 that is 2 dot adjust to contents if you have some like uh, uh, some values in uh, long string then you can uh, you can define the width according to the uh, content width okay so after that save the worksheet uh, inside the workbook so just run this application and you can define the values of the columns and the row in the work in the work in the uh, closed XML. So here we have and just open your uh, file getting started dot XML. And here you can see that the first value is the full name and b3 1 2 3 3 is a esp.net core mvc and the width of the column is according to the content esp.net core mvc and the first a6 is also defined youtube channel but the width is not set so if you want to set the width of the a uh, column so you can say that uh, and you can say that just you can type a dot columns so just copy that code for the first column to adjust content so save this and you can say that your file will be rendered according to your content and you will see that uh, your file will be rendered so just close this and oops because it's rendered uh, by using the hot reload features but uh, after close your file and restart your application your changes will be done wait for some time and you will see that your excel file will be generated with the uh, width of the content of the first column and your output will be there getting started dot xls so here we have so in the next topic uh, just i want to select that is so there is a way to create excel uh, file in asp.net core or the c sharp so uh, just you can use uh, that type of code to reading the data from the excel file and here you can say that that is the file name by using excel workbook and then same namespace will work that is the closed xml dot xml dot excel that is inside in closed xml and here you can say that a workbook that is the instance name of your excel workbook dot worksheet that is the first worksheet you can say that index number and the, the reference is ws1 and after that ws1 dot cell a1 just i want to get the value of the a1 so a is the column name, 1 is the row value. Just I want to get the value in the form of the string. Each uh, uh, value have in the form of the string. So the data is there. And just after uh, that value will be returned uh, on the uh, view back. So after that, you can save and run uh, and view your data by using the view back on the index.csstable file. And here you can see your output will be there. So view back to data is there and wait for some time your, uh, your output will be there on, on your browser screen. So by using this uh, line of code you have to read in excel file uh, that is the worksheet that is the first worksheet and your output will be there that is the full name okay so uh, the next thing you can do in uh, closed xml that is 
Now, if you want to apply styles on your uh, cells in Excel, then uh, using C sharp, then you can do. So here we have the second workbook, that is the workbook two, Excel workbook two, and uh, that is the workbook two dot dot add. So here we have the second workbook, uh, that that is the second worksheet, and inside your uh, workbook. So here we have the first worksheet you can do uh, in the uh, uh, that is file and uh, the column is A and the width of the column is 30 similarly column B and the width of the column is 25 and the A1 dot value is ASP dot net core MVC B1 dot value is authentication and B2 value is security now if you want to apply some styles like uh, A1 uh, WS dot cells I mean to say that work C dot cells dot A1 dot style alignment dot horizontal Excel here there we have a Excel workbook there is a Excel workbook so Excel alignment horizontal values Excel alignment vertical values dot center center italic true Excel border style values thin and similarly Excel uh, color dot red so after that save this thing in the workbook uh, in the getting started Excel file now run this file And you will see that uh, inside your uh, work seed, you will see uh, different uh, lots of uh, styles applied on your Excel file by using the C chart. So, closed XML provide the lots of uh, thing you can do with the Excel file. So that that is the getting value. I mean to say that read Excel file easily and also changes in the work seed too. So just open your excel file that is the getting started and here you can see that uh, that is the seat number two and that is the sp.net core and we see that is italic and b is authentication and the security and the width is 30 and width is 25 similarly we have the security and the color is the right color so th that is the seat number two that is a line Okay, so, uh, okay guys, 